And uh, good Thursday morning to you, everyone. <clears throat> I've been uh, getting around a little slow. I've been involved in doing a lot of reading this morning and kind of looked up and realized what time it was. <laughs> so anyway, welcome back. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. This is what I call my morning musings. We are currently involved. We have been involved in the study of Zechariah and a comparative, comparative study with 1 Peter. Well, in that study, we discovered some principles for understanding the Bible. Peter tells us some things that are really, really challenging to modern-day views of eschatology. Let me illustrate that. The dispensational world appeals almost, not completely, but almost entirely to the Old Testament. Whatever the Old Testament says, taken in a, I would suggest, a woodenly literal manner, is for them the determinative factor. If and when a New Testament writer quotes from an Old Testament passage and seemingly applies it in a spiritual way, that spiritual interpretation is flat out rejected. Arnold Fruchtenbaum wrote in a three-page article sent to me by Thomas Ice that no New Testament writer has the right to redefine or reinterpret the Old Testament differently from its natural, literal meaning. Well, that's just stunning. You mean to tell me that the New Testament writers, inspired of the Holy Spirit, do not have the right to tell us what the Old Testament prophets really meant. Consider that Peter said that the Old Testament prophets sought diligently to understand the time and the manner of the things which they foretold when they predicted the sufferings of Christ and the glory that was to follow. Well, that glory to follow is the kingdom, it's resurrection, uh, it's salvation, it's the kingdom. Peter says the Old Testament prophets did not understand. He does tell us this, to whom it was revealed that not to themselves did they minister those things. So we are given insight here into a tremendous hermeneutical principle. The Old Testament prophets did not fully understand what it was they predicted. Peter does tell us they realized and they were told that the events that they were predicting were not for their day. Let me give you a prime example of that. In Numbers chapter 24, Balaam the prophet says, I see him, that's the star that would arise out of Israel. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but he is not near. A star will come out of Jacob. A scepter shall arise out of Israel and batter the brow of Moab, Moab and destroy the sons of the tumult. Now, remember, Peter said the Old Testament prophets were just told that the events that they were foretelling were not for their day. Well, here's Balaam. He sees the coming of the Messiah, and he says, I see him, but he's not near. Well, it was an awful long time, 1,500 years from Balaam to Jesus. Balaam said that was a long time. Now, that ought to give us some indication that we take the time statement seriously of the New Testament when they said the coming of the Lord is at hand. The second point that Peter says is the Old Testament prophets did not understand the time or the manner. That's the nature of the coming. Notice in Daniel chapter 12, as Daniel foretold the great tribulation, he told the resurrection, he told the establishment of the kingdom, he uh, foretold the end of the age. And he overhears one angel ask another, well, when will this be? When shall all of these things be fulfilled? Well, the answer to that was it shall be for a time, times, and a half time. And when the power of the holy people is being completely shattered, all of these things will be fulfilled. 
But notice that Daniel, after seeing the vision of the great tribulation, the resurrection, the establishment of the kingdom, and the end of the age, Daniel said, verse 8, Although I heard, I did not understand. Then I said, Lord, what shall be the end of all these things? And he said, the angel said, Daniel, go your way. The words are closed up until the time of the end. You will sleep with your fathers until the time of the end. So what Peter tells us is specifically stated in the Old Testament. The Old Testament prophets were told, they understood that the events they foretold in regard to the establishment of the kingdom and the events of the last days were far off, not for their generation. And they did not even understand the things that they predicted. Daniel chapter 10 reiterates Daniel's consternation and confusion over the vision given to him. There are other examples in the Old Testament. Now look, <clears throat> when the Old Testament prophets themselves said, I don't understand what it is I'm predicting. I don't understand what the vision's about. And yet, they're predicting the kingdom of God. They're predicting the Messianic kingdom. They're predicting the Messianic temple. They're predicting the sacrifices. Didn't they know what the temple was? Didn't they know what sacrifices were? Didn't they know what the land was in their predictions of the restoration to the land? Well, sure, they know what they knew what those things were, literally. And yet, Peter says, when the Old Testament prophets spoke of the coming of the end time events, and oh, by the way, the kingdom, the priesthood, and the sacrifices which Peter interprets for us, they did not understand. It is therefore wrong, folks, to go to the Old Testament and take a woodenly literalistic uh, interpretation of things like temple, city, land, priesthood, and sacrifices. We must allow the New Testament to interpret those Old Testament prophecies. Hey, thanks for joining me for this morning's Morning Musings. Don't forget, I have an awful lot of this in my book, The Elements Shall Melt with Fervent Heat. Go to my website, eschatology.org, and it is back up, and BibleProphecy.com. Order the book. Mention that you saw the offer on YouTube or Facebook. I'll refund your shipping. Hey, hope you have an absolutely fantastic and safe Memorial Day weekend. Hope to see you next week. God bless.